Here are three spring outfits I've been rocking lately according to the weather and in three different styles as well. So if you don't like an outfit, just stick around. Plus, it is my birthday month. Give a thumbs up for that. Let's check out the fits. So for this lookbook, we're gonna go from the warmest days to the coolest days. Let's start off with this mix of athleisure and casual wear as the weather was about 69 degrees perfect temperature, and there wasn't a cloud in sight. The kicks are the Oliver Cabello ones, aka the cheaper version of the common projects with near identical quality, no bullshit. It's got the same margam sole, full grain calfskin leather. You could just check their site, they're fully transparent about the materials and why I love them so much. They also have other pretty cool sneakers that most people definitely don't have, highly recommend them. Now, how about the shorts? It's your standard athletic short from Aesthetic Revolution. You guys can go for any athletic shorts you want, I just like ASRV the most. And with any item I have, I've been trying to push myself to styling it in a way that isn't the standard. So athletic shorts, save it for athleisure, right? You could, but I think it'll push you more creatively instead of your standard sweatshorts or athleisure outfits. And this fit isn't anything special, it's just casual wear mixed with athleisure, but I do feel comfortable in it and I feel pretty good. And of course, since I'm rocking shorts, I gotta throw on some crew socks, otherwise it would look pretty weird. And the crew socks do contrast against the white sneakers. And then I've got on an oversized white Uniqlo Airism shirt layered underneath this overshirt, which is from Uniqlo as well. Very basic, I know, but it's getting warm, man. What can I say? Then there are my typical accessories, a cuff, a watch, rings. Plus I have two necklaces on for a stacked effect, one from APC and a minimal bar necklace from the sponsor of today's video, Rolls Gold and Black. I'll talk about them more in a bit. And someone somewhere out there said, navy and black shouldn't go together. And I say, shut the hell up, that's stupid. Then a basic Carhartt hat to top off the fit. This is basically a fit that I wore last year just with a work jacket and different sneakers. Definitely not for skating like the last year's fit. This next fit was similar weather-wise, only more cloudy, and if you take a look at the fit from afar, it's got very similar tones. I've been on an analogous color vibe lately, and analogous colors being colors right next to each other on the color wheel. Seriously, give it a shot. So the top is from Carhartt's, your standard great quality shirts that you can get from Dick's or the Carhartt store yourself. This is a size large, by the way, I wanted that oversized look. The color is basically red with a lot of black added to it and making it more of a maroon color. And the pants are the Nike SB FTM cargo pants, one of my favorite cargo pants for skating. Love the baggy fits and the brown color. It's also breathable and comfortable to wear. And brown is technically orange with black added to it. So therefore making maroon and brown analogous colors. And I like how it looks. It's a good way for you to move away from those depressed all black and gray wardrobes to something a little bit more colorful. Step up your color game. Then I throw on the Air Force One Craft which has orange detailing on the swoosh and the heel. What I love about the Craft Air Force Ones is the more premium leather quality. You're gonna pay about 10 to 20 bucks more but trust me it's worth it. I don't even wear my other Air Force ones I'm gonna give it away to family plus this specific Air Force one has a cream color hue to it which if you guys know me I'm a big fan of cream sneakers and then I threw on my standard accessories except I threw on this gold necklace with a jade pendant thanks for the gift mama plus these shades from jade black shout out to Jose the shades are blue which is a complementary color to orange so it's subtle but contrasts well against the pants and the sneakers while the green jade is a complementary color to the shirt which makes these accessories pop but in a subtle way now before the last fit let me talk about the sponsor of today's video rose gold and black if you guys have been subscribed to my channel you guys would know rose gold and black is the longest partner of the channel they supported your boy all this time and i do support them as well i'm always in their bar necklaces right here i always recommend starting with rose gold and black if you are new to jewelry they've got a huge assortment that will suit anyone's taste just scroll through the site you're probably going to find something that you like and this bar necklace is something i'm always in and check this out that apc necklace i wore earlier with the bar necklace they feel exactly the same. Same exact quality, feels like the same materials, over a hundred bucks. This one, not even close to that. The simple, sleek, and clean design makes it very versatile. I can rock it with pretty much any fits and it is going to elevate it. And I have almost every color that they offer. It's definitely one of my essentials. So make sure you guys go ahead and click the link in the description. Check out Rose Gold and Black. That link is going to take you to my special landing page where a ton of items are going to be heavily discounted. And they are currently doing an anniversary sale at up to 35% off. Plus, you're going to get a complimentary bracelet or a necklace as a gift. And this is a pretty solid sale that you don't want to miss on. You can basically get two necklaces for the price of one. Anyways, I appreciate y'all. Thank you, Rose Gold and Black, for sponsoring this video. Let's check out the last fit.
This last fit is for those rainy and windy days where the sun is periodically behind clouds and it's hot when the sun is out and windy and cold when it's behind clouds. I hate those days. But it does give me an excuse to rock some windbreakers and shell jackets even though it's getting warmer. That's just something I can't let go. And so here's a clip of my beautiful girlfriend because yes, it was windy when I filmed this. I didn't wear this fit just cause. It was definitely windy outside. So you guys have heard me talk about the Nike Lab ACG cargos a lot. You guys can go watch my other videos for a breakdown on it, but they are my favorite cargo pants. Anyways, I've got on the acronym Vapor Maxes and a beanie. Nothing really more to explain. What I really want to talk about is this M65 Volta jacket from Rosen X. And full transparency, this was gifted to me along with the Hydra crew neck. I do know a portion of my audience is into that sci-fi dystopian aesthetic. This jacket is from the fourth collection of Rosen X. My boy Corbin made a great video about the collection. This jacket chef's kiss perfection it's got a stowaway hood that's adjustable to your climate you got a double zipper so you can rock this in multiple ways unzipped zipped or the top zipped only that's my favorite way to rock it. it's just more bang for the buck there's gusseted waist pockets with waterproof zipper enclosures chest pockets hand warmer pockets and an adjustable cuff. Plus, inside the sleeve is a mesh lining, so it is a lot more comfortable to wear, doesn't rub up against the skin, and the material is anti-abrasive and water repellent. Definitely acronym vibes. So don't worry about messing this jacket up. It's something that'll last you a lifetime that you can pass along. They also sent over this Hydra sweatshirt. Definitely not a Hail Hydra moment, but a cool sweatshirt nonetheless. And I just love the way this shirt is cut. Think of your standard crew neck, a little bit cropped with a high collar, but with a nylon paneling, reflective piping, and a sweat absorbent underside. Really cool details, definitely a way to step up your long sleeve or crew neck game. This piece alone is going to stand out even though it's all black. Overall, this fit is perfect for any windy day or a rainy day. If you're in beautiful weather 24 seven, I am jealous, but also not because I get to wear these pieces still. Because living in New York is great and it is getting warmer, but we gotta make it through a few more showers and windy days before consistent heat. Because this past week was literally just raining and gloomy all day. Anyways, those are my spring fits. There's definitely something for everyone. Let me know in the comments down below what your favorite fit was. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram and TikTok at flywithjohnnytai. And until then, check out Rose Gold and Black. Stay fly. Deuces.